Praise God, we are here again. Uh, Dr. Anthony Wright and Dr. Treats, private pastors of Adam's World at Christ Ministries, and today we're going to continue teaching about the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven. And the topic today is freedom from living and being in the wrong place in the wrong location. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's moving, knowing how to move in the timing of God, which timing is everything in the spirit world. If you're not at the right place at the right time, then you don't get the maximum benefit either for yourself or you're not able to help someone else when God wants you to. Amen. So, this is continuing to living under an open heaven by the Holy Spirit, being led by Him and being in the right place at the right time. I can tell you, uh, one of my own experiences is when I was younger, I was working as a counselor, and the Holy Spirit told me to go to the hospital to pray for this client that I had that was dying from a brain tumor. And this man, when I got there, he was already uh, starting to slip off into a coma, and he was he was dying. And the Lord told me to pray uh, over him and read two scriptures, and I did. And we, and and then he, shortly after I did that, he passed away. Well, the Holy Spirit showed me that he was uh, because I was obedient and got there at the right time and prayed for him, was able to snatch his soul from going to hell. Because he was a Christian, but he wasn't really living for the Lord. Mm -hmm. So on his deathbed, he called out to the Lord when I um, prayed over him and, and read those prayers. Because the last sense, your last physical sense that goes when you die is your hearing. And that's when people that are in comas can still hear. And, um, and that's what we're talking about, being at the right place at the right time. Now, if I would have delayed and not went there, that man's uh, soul would have been lost. And I would have been held accountable because God told me to go and, and I didn't. You see, so that's why it's key. I'm talking about oh, from my own experience how important it is to be at the right place at the right time. God wants to use you to help, uh, you know, to save somebody. But if you're not there, then how can how can His His will be done? Praise God. And He's counting on us to be in the right place at the right time. That's why it's, we have to learn how to flow in the Holy Spirit, flow with Him on an ongoing basis, not just once in a while, it's ongoing, 24-7. I know you have so many experiences to share, Mike, yeah. that but the Holy, Holy Spirit has done for you and how he's led you to be in the right place at the right time. Yeah. You can share those with us. The key is to stay on the anointing, is to move in his timing. Say timing. 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 See, we have our own timing, the devil has his timing, God has his timing. <laughs> when we connect with God, we forsake our own time. In our own time, I said, oh, let me fix this, let me fix this, and fix this, and fix that. Then you want to try to move on your own time, which is not God's time. God's time may be different, most of the time, different from our own. Mm -hmm. It may not be convenient to any time God tells you to do something, to move, we will never be convenient to our flesh. That's why our flesh has to be dead, to be crucified, mm -hmm. to go by the will, the timing of the Holy Spirit. See, there's time in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse. Once it is done, at the heaven for everything, every purpose is under God. Even David, before he went out, he asked the Lord, which city is supposed to go, and God told him to go to Hebron, that's um, Second Samuel chapter 2, um, verse 1, and in God, praise the living God. So we see how important to keep the time of God. Most people are being deprived because they're not staying at the right place at the right time. How many times Holy Ghost told me, if you see this one, this church, today, do this for that person. And the person didn't show up. Well, we didn't do that because the person is not there. <coughs> see? Then in three weeks later, that person go to hell on earth. Because it's the person in the wrong place. Wasn't show up. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So time is very important. Amen. Because God's time is not our time. In order to receive God's best for your life, you have to move in God's timing. Because uh, uh, we told certain people to go back to school, but they procrastinated, they delayed, and now the prices have gone up, and they may never get the education that God wanted them to have. If God wants you to go back to school, don't think that you're too old or, you know, if, we have, if God wants, if it's the Holy Spirit's leading, then you just yield. And that's what we talk about surrendering. My husband said it might not, things and the timing of God might not always be convenient to our flesh. Like he, he may wake us up at 5 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 12 o'clock, you know, early to pray for somebody, but, and it could be somebody in another part of the world that we're praying for. 
But he told us to get up at that time. He knows that we intercede for that person, that God is going to uh, do and accomplish what he wanted to do because the Holy Spirit is using us to pray for that person. But if we stay in bed too long and don't do it, then um, we're going to be uh, held accountable for the things that we did not do. The people's blood can be required our hands if anything happens to that person. In the same way, if there's a storm coming and you don't pray against it, then that storm's going to uh, uh, overtake your, the tornado's going to hit. Because you, God asked you to pray, you didn't pray against it, so that storm's going to hit and it could destroy a lot of people. Well, see, that's why moving in the time of God is uh, very, very key in order to, to um, continue to keep, to flow in the anointing and keep increasing and multiplying. Have the anointing increase and multiply on your life. Is a moving in God's perfect timing. Amen. Amen. And the perfect timing of God is, is always continual. Once you've flown his timing, you find, you find his ways. See, Moses knew the ways of God. The children of Israel knew the act. Once you know the ways of the Spirit, you also see his act. You also move in his timing. Because the timing of God is always not a, a timing. Hallelujah. That is why the blessing. So either by passing you or coming or manifesting through you, depending how you are responding Amen. to the move of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So the Holy Spirit is so unique, is a person who can help us to live a Christian life today. Without him, we cannot be anything God wants it to be. Because it's not by might, not by power, it's by my spirit, says the Lord. I keep reading that scripture. Because people are doing things in their own human effort and they are not getting results. Amen. And you wonder what? Is God's word not true? God's word is true because God moved in his timing. That's right. They are sensing and coming for God. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. And so many Christians, because they are not deep enough, they are ankle height of the anointing or loin or knee height of the anointing. They cannot descend the timing of God. They keep on doing the same old, same old, same old, same old, same old. Become ritualistic, become drudgery because they are not moving in his timing. Anytime you move in the time of God, there's always refreshing. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're walking in the spirit. That's it. So therefore, you don't. If you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Yes. And it says that in Galatians chapter five, verse sixteen, twenty-five. Yes. It says Galatians chapter five, verse sixteen. This I say, then walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, and unseriousness. A lot of people, because they're in the wrong place at the wrong time, they get into sin problems that should have never, they, the places they should have never been. And things that start happening to them because they're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Example, King David. He was supposed to have to be on the battlefield, but he didn't go. He stayed home. Then what happened? Again to adultery. Adultery. It's the wrong place. It's his own home. He's supposed to be the fighting in the field. But he didn't go there. He stayed home. There's no grace. He saw a naked woman. Boom. You all know the story. In Second Samuel chapter 11 and chapter 12, Hallelujah. Praise the living God. So moving God's perfect timing enables us to climb up higher from glory to glory and Amen. also to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Amen. So many people say they are the spirit of God. They are not sensitive to Him. Because they are always grieving him, vexing, opposing, displeasing him, uh, tempting him, okay, can that back and that resisting him. Yeah. See, once you are doing that, just repent. You will come and fellowship with you. He wants to be close to you. Because if you keep resisting the Holy Spirit's timing, then you keep getting your heart, your heart becomes harder and harder, and then you can't hear from God. Yeah. If you don't obey, if you didn't obey that last commandment He gave you, then how do you think He's going to give you another instruction to follow? So when you're sensitive to the Holy Spirit, uh, then you're going to be led by Him and you'll be in the right place at the right time. Amen. If you don't know Jesus, pray this prayer. Say, Jesus, Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. I'm sorry for my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. And save me now. And save me now. And make me your own. Make me your own. I belong to you. I belong to you. You belong to me. You belong to me. I'm so out to you. I'm so out to you. Jesus, Jesus, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. For those who are sick, put your hands. Someone has been having chest problems. Christ is healing you. Christ is healing you. Some of you are in a car accident. You are in a Nissan, blue Nissan car accident, hallelujah. And your jaw is broken, Christ is healing you. Christ is healing people with shoulder problems, 
Christ is healing people, hallelujah. Whose skin has been itching, your skin rushes. Christ, in Jesus' name.